love bugs. This is Rob. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is feeling blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and love. And many blessings are yet to come to you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you feel like you're comfortable enough and you want to um, open up about your spiritual gifts or even just talk about the content of my video today, it will greatly be appreciated. And if you enjoy what you heard, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. That will also be appreciated too. Thank you so much for coming by my channel and seeing what's up with me today. And for my returning subs, what's up fam? Much love to you as always. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing me support today. And namaste. Love and blessings for love and life and many blessings are yet to come. And just thank you for stopping by. It's greatly appreciated. Today I'm listening to Oh Nama, uh, Oh, what do you say? Oh Nama. Shavaya, uh, that's what it is. Mantra, uh, trance with uh, shamanic drums. Powerful uh, Shiv Mantra meditation music. So I will post that in the link down below. I mean, really, you know, when I listen to it, I meditate to it for a few minutes before I start my video, just basically get the feel out of it. And it, I mean, really, like, it conjures up some stuff, and you know, it makes you feel like an energy boost. So I'm just like, ooh, feeling good. So if you like to have meditation music like that, it'll bring your frequency up and just put you in a good space. That's really good to listen to. But my video today is about Twin Flame 101. It starts with you. I always say it starts with you, but it, it always starts with us. It always starts with us when it's just like we're on this journey. And it's just like people come to us for advice, but if we are not set right in ourselves, we really can't give too much advice if we are jacked up ourselves. So it's just like if when it starts with us, we have to start loving our, ourselves more before we can start loving somebody else. We have to start respecting ourselves more, putting ourselves in a pedestal to where we know. Not put yourself on a pedestal to be, you know, arrogant or conceited. Put yourself on a pedestal and say, you know what, I'm not going through anything like this, like I've been through in the past. I'm not going to let nobody run over me. I'm not going to be a pusher. I'm not going to be a yes man. I'm not going to be none, none of those things. I'm going to be the best version I can be. Either you accept me for who I am and grant the wisdom, you know, and allow me to give you that wisdom of whatever I need to shoot to you, whatever story I need to tell as a hey, Oprah. And going about my business. That's how it needs to be. It always has to start off with us. You know, we need to be able to bring each other up, not sit up here and be tearing each other down and, you know, coming across people that are jealous. You know, trying to be able to help them get to that point where they're not, you know, jealous or, or insecure about certain things. You know, you can be able to help somebody in that way because you might have been in that predicament. You know how it felt. You know how it felt. Like, you know, you felt like you were alone. You just, you know, you just come across somebody and just say, you know, I feel like I'm alone, I'm alone and I don't matter. It's just, if you tell them your situation, like, look, I've been through this and this and this and that. And I felt like I didn't matter. You know, my pain didn't count. My voice didn't count. And look where it's brought me today. I do matter. You know, I do deserve respect. I demand to be happy. I demand to have a peaceful life. I want to have a peaceful mind. Even though if I don't allow somebody to be in it with me, I allow to have that. You know, you have to be able to say it starts with me. I have to start with the person in the mirror first. You know, be able to correct my wrongs. Be able to, you know, whatever wrongs I have, write them. So I can go ahead and, play, you know, clear my karma of that clean slate. You know, be able to start off with your notes of what, you know, what things you can step into then. You know, when we are able to let go of the negative things, you never know what doors can open for us for these new possibilities that can come about. But if we still linger on with these negative issues, we're going to keep building on them. We're going to keep going through a chaotic situation. And I have to tell myself that, you know, you have to learn from your, your mistakes. You have to heal from the things that has hurt you in the past. You have to be able to let them go. Don't cope with them. Deal with them. Let them go. You're going about your business. 
and it's just, you know, and it, it's just like when I feel like I'm going through something, there's always that smack of reality that somebody's actually going through something worse than you. There's always somebody that's going off, going, going through something worse than you. So it always starts with us. It starts with self first. You know that self. As above, so below. You know yourself. You learn about yourself. To be able to open up to that gift that, you know, you weren't even, you didn't even probably know was there. This is just like when I look at the things that I've been doing and see myself, wow, you're a twin flame, you're an indigo, you're a white bitch. Look at all these things that, you know, I'm attracted to myself. You know, I've watched, you know, Bewitched movie, you know, Bewitched back in the day. Uh, the Teenage Witch, The Craft, The Coven. You know, all these different things that I used to watch to educate myself and didn't even really know that I was doing them. But that's what it is with our subconscious. It's just like with our, our higher selves, we know it. It's already there. We already are awakening at that time. We're, we're the strongest we ever can possibly be. But then our true selves have to be able to go ahead and collaborate with that so you'd be on the same, you know, y'all be on the same level. So I hope you were able to get something out of this video. Please drop me a line or two. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to hear whatever you have to say um if you have to contribute to the content of my video or even just open up about the things that you felt going through um it would greatly be appreciated i love to get to know you more since you know you watch my videos all the time and you get a peek of me so i can be able to get a piece of you so i hope you stay blessed and prosperous i'll keep you in my prayers and i definitely hope you do the same for me like and subscribe if you have not already drop me a line too it would greatly be appreciated and I hope everybody has a blessed week. And, you know, drop me a line or two. Give me a thumbs up. Even share. It will greatly be appreciated. And I will see you on my next video. If you, you know, raise as much positivity and, freak, you know, love that you possibly can. If your frequencies are low and you see somebody else, raise it to me. And I will see you on my next video. Peace. <laughs> wow.